first, accompanied the ring by his manager, C. Edward Vanderpile. Weighing in at 215 pounds. From Los Angeles, California, Joey Ryan. And his opponent, weighing in at 225 pounds, from Anaheim, California. You know him as Kaz from Total Non-Stop Action Professional Wrestling. But the EWF will always know him as Frankie, the future Pondelio! Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to talk about the history of the EWF, you want to talk about the 12-year legacy of the School of Hard Knocks, you are definitely taking a look at two members of that legacy in the ring right now, legends in their own right. The future Frankie Kazarian, also known as Kaz, on t Total Nonstop Action, going up against former one half of the NWA World Tag Team Champions, Joey Ryan. You know, Larry Pena, it's not often that I get to say this, but this is a true treat, just like I am sure it is for you. We're calling a match between Joey Ryan, a former World Tag Team Champion, and Frankie Kaz Kazarian. This is one of, gonna be one of the best memories I've ever, I'm ever gonna have in professional wrestling. They may call her an elbow into the center of the ring, trying to jock each other for position, and no one could get a decisive advantage forcing himself to break the hold. You know, for those of you that weren't here in attendance at the fight before Christmas back in 2007, December 23rd, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, these two actually had words in the middle of that ring, Larry. Well, that is very true. They did. Frankie Kazarian was up here at the broadcast position for a while. There was a heated exchange inside the ring when Jesse Hernandez decided to honor some of the other legacies, some of the other alumni graduates from the School of Hard Knocks. And Joy Ryan felt that he was above all of them. He felt that they were all beneath him. And what did they all do? They all took turns taking shots on the face of Joy Ryan. Well, now you see Joey Ryan taking his turn with Kaz in the corner, just working him over with that boot right in the face, across the jaw and across the throat. And not to say that you were wrong, Lola, but that was on December 21st. But not to say that I'm wrong. Not to say that you're wrong, no. But it was a fight for before Christmas. Well, look at Frankie Kazarian showing off his athleticism, proving why he is one of the best around in the world today. Great spinning wheel kick by Kaz. Frankie Kazarian to knock him down and another shot to knock down Joey Ryan one more time. You know, it's been a while since we've seen Frankie Kazarian in an EWF ring. The last time he competed in the Knights of Columbus Hall in this squirrel circle was that two years ago at the 10th year anniversary extravaganza when he went one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Match of the Night, Jason King, in a great match as part of the main event for that for that show. Well, you know, Frankie Kazarian actually stops by the School of Hard Knocks every now and again, and he talks about loyalty. He talks about remembering your roots, and he is sure doing that today by competing here against none other than Joey Ryan. Look at that reverse atomic drop right in the middle of the ring. And now look at Vanderpile holding onto the leg of Frankie Kazarian. Frankie now going after Vanderpile. This is what Vanderpile wants him to do. He wants him to chase him around so Joey Ryan can get a cheap shot in as he just is sending him ribs first into the ring apron. And it's not as if that ring apron is padded. That ring apron is solid steel. That apron is what's holding up the foundation of this ring. We know Vanderpile is gonna do anything that he possibly needs to do in order to secure a victory for one of his boys. Be it Joey Ryan, be it Carl Machine Gun Anderson, who's in New Japan right now, or Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, our NWA World Heavyweight Champion. No matter what he needs to do, he's gonna get it done in order to get the W in the column of his boys. Lord knows he tried ba back on track when Joey Ryan challenged Bino Gambino, excuse me, Brandon Nitro Gatson for the Heavyweight Championship. And I'll look at his Frankie Kazarian delivering a drop kick right across the chest. You know, it's hard for me to say Bino Gambino now, now that he's no longer here with us. That it is. You know, what's hard for Frank Kazarian to do is breathe right now. You saw him favoring his ribs as you see Rick Knox going down for a two count only. And he's still favoring those ribs after that shot he took by Joey Ryan into the ring apron. Frankie now try, bringing up Joey Ryan back onto his feet. You know, he wanted to do this, Jim, back at the fight before Christmas. Unfortunately, he only got a little sample here tonight. 12 year anniversary extravaganza. He's getting the full package here on Joy Ryan. And look at this, Joy Ryan 
Chevy Rick Knox into the ropes. Wait a minute, Vanderpump trying to make, wanting us to make sure that we announce that Joey Ryan is the best around. Well, I don't know, I think Pete, Frankie Kazarian has something else to say about that. Well, that is right now, Joey Ryan proving that he has some, some smarts to him, though, shoving Rick Knox right into those ropes, knocking Kaz down on the ground, and it's still bothering Kaz. His ribs are still in a lot of pain after taking that shot at the ring apron, and then the one right now off the ropes. Now, look at this, going back to work on the ribs, the ribs that he injured earlier. I and mean, we, we don't know exactly the full extent of the damage of Frankie Kazarian. He could have a broken rib floating into his abdomen right now. We don't know. That broken rib could be puncturing some, could be puncturing a lung. And we don't know again. Only Frankie Kazarian knows. Joy Ryan, wait a minute. Look at this Frankie landing on his feet, coming out of the corner. Fight, trying to fight back for dear life as he's gasping for air. Sends him into the ropes. And now look at this. Going chest first into that top corner post. But Frankie had a little bit of offense going in there, but Joey Ryan killed that momentum right then and there by getting him chest first into the turnbuckle post. And now look at him. Look at him with that submission maneuver right there, just wearing down Kaz. That's a variation of the abdominal stretch, a sit down version, applying more pressure to that abdomen area. You gotta believe whatever injury that's favoring Frankie Kazarian right now is being aggravated to great pain here, courtesy of Joey Ryan. Well, there you see NWA official Rick Knox right there, making sure that everything's nice and legal, checking to see if Kaz is gonna give up. But you gotta believe that Kaz is not gonna, excuse me, he's not gonna come home to the EWF just to give up. That is definitely not true, Frankie Kazarian. He has been around the world, he has seen it all. He's held championships virtually everywhere he's gone. He's wrestled internationally in Japan, wrestled in Europe, wrestled in Australia. And here he is, Joy Ryan, facing Joy Ryan. Another man who wants to make an international name for himself. We know Joey Ryan has wrestled in Australia. He has wrestled in Europe. Um, you know, he's wrestled all over the place, just like Frankie Kazarian. And Frankie and Joey Ryan knows that a victory over Frankie Kazarian will definitely make a better name for himself, not only here in EWF, but in the entire National Wrestling Alliance. Look at that, look how disgusting that Pyle is. He is choking out Kaz at ringside. Well, we've said it before. He does everything that he can in his power to help his man and he tried his best at back on track. But unfortunately, Brandon Getson was able to get the job done. Unfortunately for Vanderpile and Joy Ryan, I mean. That he was. Is he gonna be able to get the job done later on the night though, Larry? He had a two out of three falls match featuring Scorpio Sky and Brandon Getson. But that's later on the night. Right now we have Cass and Joey Ryan in the middle of our ring. Cass trying to fight back with everything he's got. And Joy Ryan going back to the work on the ribs, the injured ribs that he injured earlier. But look at this. Can we see an adrenaline rush happening for Frankie Kazarian? And that is why he's getting this up. Oh, no, wait a minute. That adrenaline rush was just put to a screeching halt. That's right, that running knee strike did some more damage. And now look at Joey Ryan cinching in that body scissors, trying to wear down Frankie Kazarian and aggravate that rib injury even more. Now, normally on a normal human being, this maneuver would just be considered a wear down hold. But considering the state of the ribs of Frankie Kazarian, this move can be a submission. We can see a submission victory right here by Joey Ryan. Right now, Frankie Kazarian, he is not moving. Oh, he's trying to move. Almost went down before referee Rick Knox decided to call this match over. Frankie trying to break the hold. You can see Joey Ryan desperately trying to get a hold onto him. Kazarian now trying to fight back. But look at this, pulls him down by the hair. Joey Ryan definitely used to taking shortcuts whenever he can. I wouldn't say that's the mark of a champion but that is the mark of an opportunist. That it is right now, Joey Ryan seeking out every opportunity he can to get the victory in this match. And there you see a nice abdominal stretch. Look at the placement Joey Ryan has Kazan. He's right in the middle of the ring. Kaz can't reach for the ropes. He can't go anywhere. He is stuck right in the middle. It's gonna take nothing but sheer willpower in order to get out of the submission maneuver. And he has a cinch right in the center of the ring. Frankie Kazarian has nowhere to go at this point. He could be, he could be passing out from the pain it looks like. Well there's NWA official Rick Knox already saying that's two. Oh no, wait a minute Frankie, he's not done yet. No he's not, he's fighting back now. He might be feeling a little bit of adrenaline, look at that. Hip tossing, Joey Ryan to break the hole. 
Kazarian trying to gasp for air. Ducks the clothesline, ducks the back elbow. Wait a minute, wraps around, takes him down, beautiful clothesline. A wrap around DDT maneuver. Great move on the part of Frankie Kazarian. And now both men are down in the ring. Nick Rick Knox going for the 10 count, already up to three. Normally this could be a pinfall for Frankie Kazarian, but because of the energy he has spent in this match and because of the injury to the ribs, he can't fully capitalize. He's trying to suck in as much air as he can. Look at him, he, he's barely breathing at all, Larry. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it through this. Look at this, ducks the punch, delivers an uppercut of his own, delivering another shot. Look at this, trying to fight back with one hand while trying to hold his ribs with the other. Sends him in, it's reversed by Ryan. Look at this flying five arm. Knocks him down again, this time with the back elbow. Beautiful single leg drop kick, knocks him down once again. Frankie Kazarian now, thus far in control. But he's taking a little time away from Joy Ryan. He has to stand on top of him, injured ribs and all. Scooping a slam, you gotta believe that took a lot out of him. Slingshot and a leg drop! This might be it here! Catching him in the mid in the rib section now. One, two, and he only gets a two count. Vanderpoel trying to provide a distraction for Rick Knox. Rick Knox, the official for this contest, calling it right down the middle. Focusing on the action in the ring as all referees should be doing. Oh, now wait a minute. Oh, I thought this match was gonna be over here. Frankie now with a waist lock. Joy Ryan reversing it with a waist lock of his own. Try to go for the victory roll, was blocked. Single leg drop kick one more time. This time connects flush across the face. And then we see the cover, there's one, two. Oh, Oliver so close. Rick not signaling for a two count only. Frankie Kazarin came so close to putting away Joy Ryan and this his homecoming match at the Knights of Columbus Hall. Look at Frankie, look at the crowd saying, what do I gotta do? How, how am I supposed to get the victory here over Joey Ryan, who's proven to be an extremely resilient competitor? Oh, I thought he was gonna go for, I believe, what's called the future shock. Joey Ryan blocking it, realizing that could be a scooter crowd move, and delivers a beautiful power bomb in the center. And Frankie still managed to kick out. The double underhook. Try to go for the Tiger Driver, and this time dropping him, and a backbreaker. And then it follows it up with a drop kick. There's another cover. And he gets a two count again. And look at this Vanderpoel arguing with Rick Knox saying that should have been a three. No matter what you say to the referee, you're not gonna change his mind. You're not gonna reverse his decision. Look at this, it's a race to see if he can get back onto their feet now. Joy Ryan charging after Frankie. Frankie ducks out of the way. So holding on a slingshot, DDT coming back into the ring. That could be it. He drilled him in the head first into the canvas. And he gets a two count despite the impression of Joy Ryan's head in our canvas. This has been one of the most exciting matches that I've seen in recent memory, Larry. This is going back and forth, left and right. Look at Frank Kazarian telling Joy Ryan, come on. I think he's going to want less shot in him for it. Wait a minute, try to go for it again, Joyce. Again, blocks it, takes him down with a spear. Again, damage to those ribs, Larry. That spear knocked the wind out of Frankie Kazarian, who's barely able to stand, barely able to sit. And look at this, kicks him in the side of the head. Delivers a super kick right across the chest. There's a cover, will this be enough? No, Frankie says no, not yet. Frankie still has a lot left in him. But how much after that super kick, Larry? Definitely not as much as before, that is for sure. It's only a matter of time now. Joy Ryan, he could be one high impact move away from putting away Frankie Kazarian. However, Frankie, at the same right, could be one move away from putting this match away. And he may have just done it. Future Shock hooks the leg. Will this be it? And what the hell is that? Van what the hell is that? Vanderpile saw the moment slipping away for Joy Ryan. Did the only thing he could do, and that's pull the referee out of the harm's way. That is just garbage, that is garbage. Frankie Kazarian had this match won, and Vanderpoel just pulled the referee out of the way. Frankie was just robbed of this matchup. Joey Ryan, look at this, a low blow. Rick Knox, nowhere to be found on that. Just, that move could have been a disqualification, it probably should have. And now wait a minute, Joey Ryan sets him up. Kick to the side of the head again, went for the super kick. Leg sweep by Frankie. 
Wait a minute, kicks him off. Small package, hooks him. Only got a one count in the center. But for the clothesline, here comes a victory roll up perhaps. Throws him over. Frankie gets a one, he gets a two. And a kick out. Look at this, a chair shot by Brander Powell. One, two, three after the schoolboy. Oh, come on. Here is your winner. Shot to the head from that steel chair, Larry. Vanderpal once again prevails for his man, Joey Ryan, suffering a loss of Brandon Gasson at back on track. Here tonight, he avenged that loss by picking up a victory over international superstar and TNA superstar, Frankie Kazarian.